everyone, it's Natasha Toddy Weston, entrepreneur, content creator, and three times best selling author. Let's scratch the titles. I'm just the girl next door. If you follow me on social media, you know I'm all about being an open book, bringing current events from the real world and my world to the table to give my sisters from other misters insight, wisdom, and real talk about life, business, and all that other ish. The reason I created Table Talk with Toddy is because I spent the last decade mostly online talking to people, more specifically millennial women all around the world about the ups and downs that come with building a brand, being a mom, and having a personal life. And what I eventually realized was that we all have many of the same questions, curiosities, and challenges. So here we are. On the Table Talk with Toddy podcast, we'll laugh, We'll cry, and I'm pretty sure we'll be pouring it up together on many occasions. It's about time that you got a relatable, unapologetic view on life as a creative living in the 21st century. On this show, you'll hear from some of my close friends, family, and guests that I've learned a thing or two from over the last decade. Get ready for some ahas, mm-hmms, and yes, girls, because at this table, nothing, and I mean nothing, is off limits. Be sure to subscribe to the Table Talk with Toddy podcast right now on Apple Podcasts. And don't forget to leave a rating and review. What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Table Talk with Toddy podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in for yet another episode. I am just so excited. So this episode is going to be part one to our season finale, episode 60, soon to come. And this has been a show that I have been wanting to do for so long, but I was like, you know what, it's pretty much wrapping up the summer, why not talk about this now? And so I'm so excited about the topic today. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the show because season six is almost here and it is super lit and I don't want you to miss it. So uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a review, make sure you share this episode with a friend and your girl will totally, totally, totally appreciate it. So if you have not yet uh, entered to win, I am giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to all of you out there. Well, not to all of you. Y'all knew that. Y'all know what I mean. I'm going to draw, pick a name, pick a person, and gift them with a $50 Amazon gift card simply for filling out a probably less than two-minute questionnaire. All you have to do is go down to the description box and check out the exact instructions on how to enter. And I will be picking the names on, I believe, August 8th or 9th. Don't quote me. Just look in the description box. (laughs) Go ahead and do that. That's just a small way for me to give back to you for tuning in and continuing to help make this show a much better environment and a much better place. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into our show today. We're going to be talking about what it means to have a hot girl summer. Not summer, summer. Say it with me, summer. A hot girl summer. So if you're not up to to current, as some of us aren't, of what a hot girl summer is, it is this newfound internet social media phenomenon that uh, Megan the Stallion started. And well, I don't even think she meant to start it. It was, I believe it was a lyric in one of her I hit singles and it just kind of blew up. Now everybody's caption is hot girl summer on my hot girl summer ish. Like everybody's talking about being a hot girl summer. And if y'all been connected to me for a while, you know, I don't typically like when there's a new lyric in town, I'm not, I'm not one to just hop on it so quick. Cause I feel like everybody's caption is going to be looking the same. So I just try to stay away from it. But when something this big is, it goes so viral, you kind of can't help but to tap into really what are people's translations of a hot girl summer. I saw this checklist on Instagram and it was basically a hot girl summer to-do list. And it had some things on there such as 
Um, get drinks with the woman you met this year, recommit to your 2019 goals, mix work and play, go on a few romantic dates, mute accounts that don't make you feel good about yourself. So it got me to thinking about, you know, I feel like everyone's going to have their own individual um, translations for the terms uh, hot girl summer. And so I went on the internet and I started doing some research on you know, what exactly is it explained from the person that created it? And I came across an article um, on Oprah Mag, and it basically, in a nutshell, is another inspiration to live your best life. That's like the simplest term to explain exactly what Megan Thee Stallion meant when she started this whole phenomenon. So it's like this catchy phrase. And again, the most popular way that people express their translation of Hot Girl Summer is posting a picture on Instagram, whether they're on vacation or on a yacht somewhere and living their best life. And Megan explained it as it's about women and men being unapologetically them, just having a good time, hyping up their friends, doing you, she explained to The Root when asked about the phenomenon. And I thought that was a pretty accurate description, in my opinion, of what people mean when they say hot girl summer. So to me, I wanted to talk to you guys about hot girl summer redefined because a couple of experiences, if you will, happen over the summer that got me to really come into terms with what it meant for me. This summer, I didn't spend it invisible quotes, building my brands. I didn't spend it um, going to a ton of business conferences. You know, the typical thing that most people who have followed my 10 10 plus year journey as an entrepreneur and creative, I didn't do 90% of the things that most people thought maybe that I should have been doing this summer. For me this summer, um, I spent it spending more time building better relationships with the people in my life, that being my cousins, my friends that maybe I went to high school with that were still friends to this day. I spent it getting to know the people who I've known for years because I found that that I, I really didn't know them. And in doing that, I realized that I learned so much more about myself and the biggest thing that I feel like I am the most appreciative of is that I discovered so much more about myself. And that is, I think, the one thing that I've been looking for for the last maybe five years or so, just trying to really figure out who Natasha is at her core and ultimately being comfortable with being who I am at my core in this season. Because I realized that Every season, we are going to change. And my beliefs right now in this season are going to be completely different than they are in two to three years in the next season. So not only did I learn more about myself by just hanging out with cousins and hanging out with close friends and really getting to know them on another level, is that I learned, I not only learned about myself, but I was comfortable just being who I am in this season. No matter who do, who isn't comfortable with it, no matter who doesn't approve of it, my hot girl summer was getting to know the people and impacting the people right around me so that I can better get to know myself so that I can be more effective than I feel like I already am. And so that for me was my definition, is my definition of a hot girl summer. So I want to share with you a little story time. I don't think I really do much of these story times, but I think you guys enjoy them. So I have a couple of situations that happened this summer that were amazing experiences. And someone actually pointed something out to me and it kind of got me to think and which really inspired this episode. So again, I've been spending a lot of time with cousins this summer and just enjoying life, you know, just enjoying the fruits of my labor, just enjoying the newfound financial freedom that God has blessed me with and just trying to be more present in life, trying to enjoy more things and uh, not just be all about work all the time and essentially trying to balance everything and just really be who I'm supposed to be in this season. 
this summer, I have had quite the number of trips to the local strip club. Now, before you get to judging me, this is a no judgment zone, guys, okay? Y'all know I keep it real with y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all and try to sugarcoat nothing. I've been to the strip club probably one too many times this summer. I have, and I have enjoyed it. Not for the strippers, not for the dancing, just the environment. And like five years ago, you would never catch me in a strip club. I just was so against it. I felt uncomfortable. But to me, the environment at this particular establishment is cool. It's laid back. There are grown people there. There are no fighting, no nothing. So for me, it was more of enjoying the environment. So anyway, I say all of that to say, in one of my frequent visits to the, the local strip club, I went there one night a couple of weeks ago, well, maybe three weeks ago. And, you know, I'm in there, you know, like going to grab me a drink and then going back in the VIP to hang out with my friends, some of my cousins, and a young lady who follows me on social media. She's, you know, very, I think, present in my community and my tribe. She saw me and she said, wow, I'm surprised to see you in here. And I immediately said, oh, well, I come here all the time. It's a pretty cool place to just kind of hang out. And I feel like it kind of took her back a little bit. And I just started laughing. I was like, well, you know, we'll talk, have a great time. And I feel like after I said that, because I didn't, before she actually said something to me, she saw me, but she didn't say anything. And I guess she saw me so comfortable, you know, not trying to not act like I wasn't supposed to be there. I'm like, you know, somebody said I'm not supposed to be here. And, you know, I felt like she maybe kind of felt like she shouldn't be there because maybe that's not the quote unquote right place to hang out. And when she said something to me after our conversation, I guess after she realized that, look, I'm comfortable here. If you're here, you should be comfortable too. It seemed like she maybe loosened up a little bit. It was kind of like um, the, the wall was brought down. And maybe that I could be mistranslating it, but the energy spoke. And it got me to thinking about how many times we aren't living our best life or we're not fully operating in the season that we're currently in and, and not leveraging that season because we're so worried about what people think. We're so worried about someone not accepting where we are in our particular season. And I left the strip club that night. I felt so confident. I felt like, okay, God, you know, I know this isn't maybe where you want me to be, but I'm comfortable being in this season and I'm being effective in this season. You know, I feel like me being around my cousins and my family and some of the people who have watched me throughout the years and they've said I've inspired them, I think for them, it's a sigh of relief to see someone like myself who's accomplished so much. I mean, y'all, I'm a three times best-selling author. You know, I, you know, I've done a lot. I've accomplished a lot. And this is not to toot my own horn, but I've accomplished more than a lot of people that I grew up with. And so when they can see me sometimes step down and be on their level to a certain extent and still impact them, still have meaningful conversations with them, still find out what's going on in their worlds. Because I feel like if I can know what's going on in their worlds, guess what? This podcast will be better. I'll have stuff to talk about that will resonate with you guys. I'll have content to create. You know, I'll actually have stuff that can impact them. I can actually take what I'm learning from their lives and experiences and seeing the things that maybe they need more help with that I can help them with and creating stuff on a larger scale. So for me this summer, my hot girl summer was not just taking another webinar and creating a new product. My hot girl summer was being more impactful in the relationships that I already have and being free to be myself no matter where I was, no matter what I was doing, no matter what I had on, just being confident in that because believe it or not, a hot girl summer without impact really does not mean anything. You can post the caption on Instagram. You can quote the lyrics from Megan Thee Stallion, but it means absolutely nothing if it's not impacting people. I don't care who you are. You could be working at the local fast food restaurant. You could be an author. You could be a coach. You could be an, a rapper. But if you're not impacting people at some extent, it's just kind of like, what is it for? And so... 
that to me is my definition of a hot girl summer. Another thing, we just celebrated Cousins Day a couple of weeks ago. One of my little cousins, she would probably hate that I called her my little cousin, but she got the idea. She was like, hey, y'all, it's Cousins Day. National Cousins Day is coming up. We should get together and put some stuff on the grill and hang out and blah, blah, blah. And it was such a good idea. I'm so glad that she did it because... She started a group chat so we could plan the cookout and the gathering. And that group chat goes on. We keep in touch with each other every day. And to be honest, y'all, when this whole business thing gets too heavy, when work gets to be too too much, that group puts a smile on my face. You know, there are certain levels of dysfunction gives me hope that I can still be myself and still impact. Because people are looking for realness and I can only be as real as what I expose myself to. And that's what my hot girl summer was, was simply being myself, being unapologetic about where I am, who I am in this season, because we can't let people put us on such high pedestals that we forget what it feels like to put our feet on the ground. And I think that's what's happening is it's so easy to become the next big thing. It's so easy to be this person on social media and not make a hill of beans of an impact in nobody's life. And even if the people who I've spent all this time with this summer, even if they don't come out and tell me, oh, you know, just being around you has helped me, has impacted me. I know that not only have I impacted them from simply just being present, but they have impacted me in a way that they'll probably never even understand. I'm so inspired to continue to discover Natasha because of them, because of seeing them in the process of self-discovery and, and, and me realizing that Self-discovery never ends. It's a continuous, constant process. It's a continuous, constant thing. Just because you reach a certain level of success does not mean that that level of self-discovery stops. It's just like every new season, you find a new layer of yourself. And that's what's been happening with me this hot girl summer. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Uh, episode 60 will kind of have like a part two of this and kind of dig a little more deep into what a hot girl summer means. So I want you to talk to me. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on IG and let me know what is your definition of a hot girl summer. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Holla at your girl. Let me know. Don't forget to review this show. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Share this episode. Like, let's make this ish go viral. Okay? And remember, you can only be as real as what you experience. So get out there, y'all. Be whoever you are in the season. I don't care if you have to do it in the strip club, in the church, at the, your son's baseball game, whatever, whoever, wherever you are in the season. Be okay with where you are. Just because you're okay with where you are does not mean you don't want to evolve. But I feel like we're missing out on so much of life, so many valuable experiences and lessons because we're too busy trying to hop out of one season into the next before we get what this season has to offer. So if you didn't know what a hot girl summer meant, take this into consideration and it's not too late. Even though the summer is almost over, you can have a hot girl winter, a cold girl winter. How about that? That's cool, right? (laughs) All right, y'all. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for another episode. I love you guys. Don't forget to enter to win the $50 Amazon gift cards. All you got to do is check out the info in the description box, and then you can figure out how to enter. Remember, it ends August 9th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So I'll talk to you guys in the season finale of season five of the Table Talk with Toddy podcast. I love you guys. Peace.